John Smith. I am a coach of uh, track and field Olympians, and I don't like what I do. I love what I do. John Smith is arguably the most decorated Olympic track and field coach in the world. But he wasn't always sold on the idea of coaching. Because this is the last thing I wanted to do. 1972, that was my year. Um, I was the number one uh, quarter miler in the world at the time. And I had all these great aspirations and gold medal. After suffering a hamstring injury two weeks before the 1972 Olympic Games, he was forced to rethink his future as a pro sprinter. When I first started coaching, um, none of the elite athletes wanted me to work with them. These days, world champion sprinters are tracking him down. I remember calling up my dad and saying, I know who I want to coach me. And so I ended up knocking on his hotel door. Uh, asking him if I could speak to him. We went out on his balcony and I looked him in the eye and said, you're going to be my coach. That's 100 meter sprinter English Gardner, who recently placed first in the Olympic trials on her home track at the University of Oregon. He's, you know, been at games before, you know, he's won medals with other athletes. He's had world records himself. You know, he's an all around great competitor. Gardner isn't the only one tracking him down. While this is Gardner's first Olympic Games, it is three-time Olympic competitor Tyson Gay's last. Well, John Smith uh, had known me um, since I was young in college, and um, I always respected his philosophy, you know, and how he done things. And I kind of wanted to see what it's like to train with uh, arguably the greatest coach of all time. Um, I've learned a lot, and that's the most important thing. I've learned a lot on the track and off the track. You know, and um, I think that's something that I can carry with me, you know, with the rest of my life and also share with my children as well some of the things that he's taught me. Gil Roberts, who was competing in the 400 meter and 400 meter relay in Rio, says Smith is a technician who had all the tools to get him to gold. When I graduated from college and, and went pro, uh, I wanted to be with the best and I f felt like the best was John Smith and I wanted to, you know, go from being good to great. So I made the decision to come out here to LA and train with John. Um, the first thing that I do is I do my best with every athlete that I have. When I got into it, it gave me such satisfaction. It hit me deep into the core of my existence. It made me feel like I had purpose. Every big movement that I've ever read about, that I've ever seen, always has a leader. It always has somebody who kind of paves the way and shows you the direction that you're going to. And so that's kind of what he's been like for me. The sacrifices and dedication whether uh, the discipline, you know, um, I'm all of those things and we're behind closed doors, you know, um, and, it's, uh, and it's tough being able to do that, you know, consistently year after year after year. When I get on the track, I turn into a beast, an animal, you know, a person who's not afraid of anything, who has confidence, who has faith that, you know, they prepared themselves for that moment and everything that is from here on out has been dress rehearsal. You know, I'm never going to hurt as much as I did out here in practice. I'm never going to be as scared. You know, I train with the top athletes in the world. Everybody at some point, at some level in their career, they were champions. And it's good to be surrounded with champions because, you know, to some extent, everybody's a winner. So that we kind of feed off that. It's just passion, you know, something that I love, you know, and I'm not ready to walk away from the sport until I'm ready and I'm completely empty, you know. So I want to give them all one more Olympics and just see how it goes. Um, this will be my third Olympics. And as long as I come on with that gold medal and the relay, I'll be satisfied. Whether it's their first Olympics or their last, the goal is gold. For Smith, it is to make sure his athletes are on top of the podium. For the Los Angeles Sentinel, I'm Lauren Jones reporting.